Okay, so I have not made a swatches and stuff in a long time, so I'm probably very rusty. Hey everybody, this is Sophia from My Great Challenge, and this is another episode of Swatches and Stuff in which I review the products I've been using lately, and I know you guys have said you wanted a skincare review, so there you have it, Swatches and Stuff. if the lighting is adequate in here. I'm in my bathroom, if you hear a buzz, it's from the lights um, above the sink. So, I have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna try to go through and give you, not a thorough review, but a first impression and how I've been using them. Um, there's a lot of stuff. There's the um, skincare, there's makeup, there's stuff, and um, a movie review. So, um, let's get started. Head to toe, as usual, I'm gonna start with uh, realizing that I forgot a product. I'll be right back. Right, that's better. Okay, uh, I'm starting with this. This is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Styling Lotion um, by Shea Moisture. You can get this at the supermarket and you can get it at CVS, Walgreens, Dwayne Reed's, um, Rite Aid, whichever one of your um, closest drugstore. So this is basically a it's a, a styling lotion. You put it on on wet hair after you towel dry your hair and then you style your hair whichever way you want. So today I um, blow dried my hair and I straightened it with my straightening brush. Reviewed that a long time ago. Um, I'll put the link up there. And um, it supposedly strengthen your hair. You know <laughs> Disclaimer, nothing is going to strengthen your hair that you put on top of your hair because it gets washed off. If you want to strengthen your hair, you need to take something on the inside, you know, vitamins, and we'll talk about that in a second. That being said, this smells wonderful. <laughs> it smells so good. Mm -hmm. This is uh, um, a mix of, um, it smells like cocoa butter mixed with coconut, so it's very beachy, okay? So I put on, I've had it for the months, look, that's all I've used so far and I use it every day. Um, I put it on wet hair after I towel dry it or, you know, if it's still damp and then I just towel my hair get out the door because I ain't got time in the morning to do my hair like I did this morning. So what it does is that it really redefines my curls. The problem with it is that if you put too much of it, it ends up looking like mousse and that it makes your hair stiff and I mean, it's definitely structured and you know, you get your nice curls, but it makes your hair almost like that sea salt um, beach hair look. Okay, so you don't want to use a lot. Now, some people use it directly on the scalp and they do a mask overnight with it and they claim that it helps grow their hair. I don't know, I don't need to grow any hair. Lord knows I have way too much of it in this particular area right here. So uh, I'm trying to not have more hair, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm not putting it on my face, but you know what I mean, right? It's just, I don't know, I don't think it does, but castor oil is supposedly very, very good for your hair and your nails. And I do use castor oil on my nails. So yeah, this is good. I like it, I love the smell. Now, if you are sensitive to very strong smell, yeah, this is not for you, because this is really, really strong. It basically smells like somebody dumped coconut ice cream over your head. That's basically what it smells like. Um, but I love it. Yeah, I do. I really like this. Again, this is the Jamaican Castor Oil Strengthen and um, restore styling lotion. They have the entire collection. You can get the shampoo, the conditioner, the mask, all sorts of stuff. I just got this because I don't need anything else. Okay, that's that. This, this is the Dove, Dove, Dove Purely Pampering Shower Body Wash. Comes in a huge bottle. This is not a mousse. This is a regular body wash. This is um, for softer, smoother skin after one shower with nutrient moisture. Yes, softer, smoother skin after one shower. That is true. It's very nice. I love the scent. It's um, very flowery. Yes, very flowery with a hint of vanilla. Let me see if they have the scent in the back so I can tell you. Sweet cream with peony butter. That's what it is. It really does make my skin soft. Um, I don't have to use a moisturizer after that, which is great because in the summer, 
I don't want to use moisturizer on my skin. My skin is oily as it is. So this is just perfect. It smells great. One pass, I don't have to do it a second time. It rinses pretty well. You do have to rinse a little bit um, more than a regular soap or a clear gel body shower because it's a cream. But I love the smell. It's a large size, so that's gonna last me for a while. I've had this for almost three weeks now and I'm barely over here, so it's a little ex more on the expensive side. I'll put all the links and the prices down below, uh, but I think it's worthy because you get a lot of product and you don't need a lot because it makes a lot of lather. But otherwise, yeah, the smell is wonderful. It's, um, it's not refreshing as a scent, but it's a very comforting scent. It's, um, it's a warm scent is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I like this, get that. In the summer, I try to avoid anything that's very perfumey on my skin because, um, you know, sun and everything, and then it, it makes my freckles um, get darker. So I ended up having to put more foundations. I don't want that because it's, you know, it's too greasy. So I'm using this, and I've been using it for almost two months now. Um, I'm almost done with it. This is the Vani Cream Gentle facial cleanser and if you've been watching the channel for a long time you know that I love the Vanny Cream bar soap absolutely love it this is um, gentle let me read it for you um, free of dyes there's no lanolin no fragrance no masking fragrance there's no paraben no formaldehyde and no uh, preservatives so this is dermatologist uh, recommended it does the job. It cleans out my face. It leaves it squeaky clean, but not tight or taut. And it uh, removes makeup very well. Not so great on eye makeup, like, you know, eyeliner and mascara. You have to go over that with the uh, um, eye makeup remover. But otherwise, I really like this and no breakout. So yeah, I like this Vanny Cream Gentle, what is it? Facial Cleanser. Generally speaking, all of the Vanny Cream products to me are excellent so if you have very sensitive skin or you have troubled skin or you have um skin that breaks out or has difficulty with the sun and all of that try to use products that have no fragrances in them um that's really going to help you and like me for instance with the freckles like because if i put any fragrance on my face all the freckles get super dark by the end of summer and i don't like it after i wash my face i use a toner this is basically a um, knockoff of the Mario Badescu toner. And this is, I got it at the pharmacy too, at um, CVS. This is Botanics. And this is the Shine Away with Willow Bark Facial Toner. So I just shook it so you can see it's got this milky um, look to it that's what the mattifying agents are and that's for oily and combination skin this is really nice i'm gonna read it for you mattifying toner this purifying formula rich in willow bark a natural extract which helps to clarify skin while additional mattifying powder absorbs shine pores and the pores appear tighten and yes it does this is really 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 good, you guys. Really good. Again, links are down below. Um, this smells fresh. It smells like kind of herbs, cucumber maybe, basil, something like that. Um, I put it on after I wash my face and before I apply makeup. I don't put it on at night. I only use it during the day. Um, and this is really, really good. Uh, so again, you have to shake it. I don't know if you can see the residue here at the bottom. You really, really, really got to shake it to get all of the mattifying agents. I don't know. I don't know what makes the powder. It's gotta be something like chalk or whatever. Um, really, really good. So again, this is the Botanics Shine Away. You can get it at your drugstore. If you have um, shiny T-zone, if you have a skin that tends to break out in the summer from all the sweat, if you go to the gym and you just want to refresh your face before you get out of the uh, gym and back into uh, the streets, you can use that and it really does mattify your skin. Love it. Uh, this was disappointing. This is the Clarence um, One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. And this is, I was looking for the old fashioned um, scrub. That's not a scrub. 
you put it on and then you rub it on your skin and it just comes out in those little um, you know it, it's a peel kind of it's not a scrub and I thought that was it because this in French is called a man I really need glasses um, nettoyant gourmand express a gourmand is like a um, eraser and in the old days when I use products that were French when they used the gourmand part of the um, exfoliator it was always this kind of thing that you roll you roll off the layer like this and it, and it takes out all of the dead skin cells um, this is just a scrub <laughs> with beads in it this is with orange extract for all skin types I'm pretty sure the shells in them are either apricot or uh, whatever it's um, it, it's not a lot of beads it's not a lot of scrub um, it's like a gel it smells really really nice but I am not wowed by this and this guys was expensive <laughs> this was 25 bucks um it was way too much money for the result so it's just a basic scrub there's nothing extraordinary about this I don't recommend it all right so that was again the Clarence one step gentle exfoliator you can get the same thing out of the scent Ives apricot scrub for a fraction of the cost after I wash and tone, I use two things. I use this in the day and I use this at night. Okay, so we're gonna start with the day. This is the CeraVe, again, this is a drugstore fine. Uh, broad spectrum SPF 30, that's the one thing I don't like about it. We'll talk about it in a second. Um, we've encapsulated retinol and this is basically a skin renewing day cream with sunscreen. Okay, so it comes in a pump, nice. You know, I like pumps better than, um, oh, I need to clean the top. I like pumps better than putting my um, fingers in a jar because it tends to be non-hygienic. Anyway, so that's what it looks like. And it's just basically, it's cream, right? So now it's very, very thick, all right? You see how I'm having a hard time blending it in? Okay, that's because of the SPF in it. Now, I, don't care for SPF for one particular reason. When you put it on, it feels very dry and you, you end up putting it on and your skin kind of, your hand skips, your fingers end up skipping on you know your skin because it is so um, dry. It smells not really good, <laughs> but, but it's been working for me, so I'm not complaining. Um, this is just a dermatologist recommended type day cream uh, developed with dermatologist and it's got the octinoacetate 7.5% and the zinc oxide that's the uh, sunscreen for 10.5 uh, so you just apply it you re you're supposed to reapply at least every two hours nobody does that okay and that's the thing with sunscreen you put it on but really the um, number you know the factor of the sunscreen indicate how long you can wait before you reapply it so who's gonna reapply day cream you put on your makeup you're not reapplying this stuff at the end of the day so it's gonna be giving you sunscreen performance for about two hours and then the rest of the day you're on your own okay so mm, now um, this is good it didn't break my skin out it is a decent moisturizer but I'm not gonna repurchase this only because I just don't like the texture. I don't like the feel of it. It's just, I'm telling you, like that skipping thing. I like gliding products, okay? So that's that. However, nighttime, I'm using this, and this is ex excellent. This is by um, Botanics, again. This is 100% organic rose hip facial oil. And that's just, um, the only thing I don't like about it is that as an oil, it should be in a dark bottle, but yeah, you know, what am I going to say? Okay, so it comes with a little glass pipette thing, you put it on, and this glides all over your skin, and it is a miracle product. Generally speaking, I've done so many reviews on rose oil on this channel this one is really good you remember the one i did from darfin the uh, the french um company and it was 70 dollars a jar or a little bottle this one is again a fraction of the cost and just as good so i tell you what this is a miracle if i have the beginning of a breakout or if i um just plucked my eyebrows 
and did the rest of the facial hair you know i'm getting uh, close to the 50s here stuff appears at this time in my life i'm not happy about it okay too much information i get that all right so if i over plug and i'm a little red or whatever put that on no problem everything disappears within a couple of minutes and it leaves my skin very very nice glow on it it's not too thick at night because it's hot up in the attic i'm not all sweaty it doesn't clog my pores this is really good so if you're going to cvs because i think cvs is the only one that um sells it or you can use the link below you can use these the drying lotion for the time and then the oil at night really really good products yes i will repurchase both of them because they were really good so the rose hip oil smells really really nice it's i think it's done wonders on my skin you guys have been talking to me about my skin tell me sophia you're glowing what's going on well this is what i've been using um so i guess i have to give it credit um even though i don't like this one too much obviously it's doing something for my skin um and i think out of all of those the rose hip oil is definitely the best one this one is really really good okay next next is lancome and this is um how i hide old acne scars dark spots old pregnancy mask i never got rid of you know kind of thing on my skin and this is the teint idol ultra wear camouflage and this is excellent <laughs> this is amazing it's a little waxy um what color am i using because you guys probably want to know i'm in 110 ivory you don't need a lot okay it really blends super well uh i don't see where am i okay it blends really well where am i right here okay so you see that it's got amazing coverage nothing shows underneath this thing it totally transforms your skin this is really really good stuff you guys i love it um the only minus a little waxy so it's a little thick um it doesn't get stuck in the creases but if i don't let it sit and set for long enough and i put it on and immediately after i start putting my powder on yes the powder will get stuck in all of the little um wrinkles around my eyes so you want to put that on and you want to let it sit for a good couple of minutes and then you continue with your makeup application but this guys this is a lifesaver i love it you can tell maybe you can but i have a lot of dark spots all over my chin and over here and these are all all the acne scars or uh, spots and pregnancy mask big freckles that never went away so i camouflage them with that and it seems to be working very well so yes i will repurchase this 110 ivory the ultra wear concealer this is a full concealer it's not a uh, it's a full coverage okay makeup i got this gizmo at TJ Maxx and this is great <laughs> this is a um, cup that you put on like a mitten and this is to help you clean your brushes so if you're like me and you're a makeup brush maniac this is what you do you um, put it like this right and then you start adding water underneath your sink you know your, your faucet just put a little bit of water you throw some soap in it and then you just you know clean your brush rinse it and then shake your brush and that's it it's got all those little ridges so it's got like big ridges little ones um vertical horizontal doesn't matter so you basically go like this and then you turn 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 and then you rinse this is great i like this better than the gloves i don't know why i think this is pretty pretty cool because you can also leave it uh, straight on the table on your or leave it at the bottom of your sink if you want so I don't know this is a silicone so this is a silicone type product this was relatively cheap guys I think that was maybe like five dollars something like that at um, TJ Maxx and it's gonna last me a long time because the silicone is not going anywhere and it's all in one piece too so it does a good job it cleans my brushes very very well as i try to take care of my brushes um i clean them at least 
once a month uh, to get rid of all the makeup and gunk that's on it and I haven't noticed that my brushes are getting damaged I'm not losing any hair they're still very very soft so it's not damaging the brushes when you use it um, so I like that I recommend this if you have a lot of brushes I got that at Walmart I really haven't bought a lot of makeup um maybe five things since my last swatches and stuff because I'm trying to go through my stuff okay this is um, the brand is called found I got two things I got the baked blush and I got a lipstick so the first thing is that this is really cheap packaging because it broke within a week <laughs> so but I'm still you know I'm still using it so this is a baked blush uh, if you're familiar with them they basically um, they baked Right, it's not just pressed powder. It's got a gold glow in it. The color is number 70 in pink glow. I'm wearing it right now. This is so pretty, you guys. So pretty. Look at this. It's got this apricot tint to it. We put it right here so you can see. So, hey, it's very pigmented, okay, and it stays on all day. High quality product very poor packaging <laughs> that's all i have to say so this is like a hot pink but it's got a glow to it don't know if you can see the glow very very nice doesn't have uh, any scent at all ah uh, this is packed so there's so much product in here you probably can keep that for a very long time well you're supposed to get rid of your products after a well, while i don't um but it's uh it's definitely gonna last you for a long time if that's all you use the color is gorgeous the sheen on it the gold is not a glittery powwow type of gold so it's very subtle it gives you just what you need to have a little glow on your face without looking like you very obviously put on some highlighter so i recommend this this is the number 70 in pink glow by found and you can get it at walmart um and again this is taiwanese product made in poland so it's good quality really really good quality for a walmart product who i thought excellent stuff so i recommend that and then i got the lipstick that kind of matches it let me see the color is and that's what i'm wearing right now it's 115 lotus um i don't know the lipstick is a very nice color i like the color i'm gonna swatch it for you um it's a little dry um let me see here's the lipstick very pretty color but I feel like it's a little dry now it's a matte so obviously it's gonna feel dry if it bothers you you can just top it off with some kind of um, either a clear gloss or something in the same color but the color is just so pretty um, I just wish they had the same color as a moisture stick rather than just a matte but otherwise pretty good and again the packaging not that great I mean this thing opened up in my purse many many times so not a great packaging pretty decent design um, color is beautiful I like this so the two found is the pink glow number 70 and 115 and I forgot the name what was it Lotus right yeah in Lotus wearing them right now very happy with them I just wish the packaging were a little bit sturdy because uh, I'm not gentle with my stuff you know that right okay next eyeshadow uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get decent I'm not saying excellent but to get decent eyeshadows that do the trick TJ Maxx has this um, icon brand it's icon by absolute New York and they are basically doing all the knockoffs of the um, Urban Decay, Naked, Naked Heat, Naked 2, Naked 3, you know, so they have all of them. It comes with a brush, which I'm not using because it's a dual and, and the problem with dual ends is that, well, you got to put it back in here, but I like to have my brushes on the other side and I can't really stand those. But the uh, uh, the brushes is pretty decent quality. I you know not great but pretty decent so here are the colors um, and I'm gonna show you what I got okay cuz I can well I can wear my glasses all right so I have this pale white here all over my lids right and then I have this shimmer here is that the one yeah I have the shimmer here all over my lid as well just give it the pow from underneath 
and then I have um, this one here I prepped my inner lid and the crease with that um, and then I used this purple right here in the outer V of my um, eyes and then I just took a blending brush and I picked more of this pigment here and I just blended everything with it and I have just regular eyeliner in purple um, and um, mascara so that's what I did and you know what these are pretty good there's fallout so you want to put a lot of powder loose powder um, underneath where's my kabuki right here. you want to put a lot of loose powder underneath your eyelids like here right on the top of your cheeks do your makeup and then sweep it off your cheeks because you will have fallout but once you blend it in it stays on pretty much all day doesn't really crease crease a little bit if you have really really dark pigments like if you use those two here you're definitely gonna see them crease on your eyelid but this one not so much and definitely not these this is not bad quality at all considering the price that I paid for this one this one eleven dollars um, and it's really not bad at all I'm happy with it the icon by absolute New York you can find them online links down below if you're interested so this is pretty good if you're not sure what to get and you just want to get something a little bit better than what you have right now and you want to play with colors but you don't want to spend a lot of money because you're not very um, confident about your ability to apply makeup and, and do things with your eyes get something like this because that's inexpensive and you're not gonna break the bank it does the job it's not super super high quality but you know I mean for what it is I think it's pretty good um so I'm happy with it that's what I'm wearing today I think they're pretty pretty uh, neat the pigment is true like for instance if I show you um, the purple that I picked let me do the purple right here okay most purples end up turning gray on my skin um, so you can see that this one did turn gray but the funny thing about it is that as soon as I put on the what is it that I have it's a long comb where are you um, eyeliner I have it in purple um, in plum as soon as you put that on then all the purple in the eyeshadow pops out so you want to play with colors like this um, you know mix and match okay last one um, no not last one you guys have asked me what do I do for my skin I do this <laughs> this is a, a nature made pretty inexpensive I buy them buy one get one free or buy one get one 50% off or I have coupons I get them at the Walgreens they're basically vitamins so this is hair skin nails they come as gummies um, I don't know if you can see them right so they're kind of like candies not a lot of sugar in it I think it's less than three grams of sugar per two gummies let me see um, two gram for two gummies so I take two of those every morning as soon as I get up um, hair skin and nails and I take two by ten as soon as I get up as well and I think it's done um, a good job at maintaining my skin again you guys have been saying that I've had a glow lately so I think maybe that's that and then I've been able to grow nails which I've never been able to do so I'm pretty happy about that except on this hand they all broke because gardening okay but my nail is stronger grows faster stay long longer I didn't really notice a change on my hair per se um, I don't know why but for skin I would say it's pretty good and definitely works on nails so if you are looking for something to change your skin your hair and your nail from the inside rather than trying products that claim to be miracle because really none of them are um, try this and there's different brands you don't have to pick those I picked those because it's kind of cheap and I just wanted to try it so they taste pretty good um, you know they have a fruity different fruity they have different fruity flavors um this is my second purchase so i would say i've had 40 days worth of those so far and i'm seeing um definitely a difference in my nails with this last because this is swatches and stuff so i'm gonna insert a picture right there 
Yesterday we finally watched the first episode of Yellowstone with Kevin Costner. Um, it's on the Paramount Network and it's on every Wednesday. The premiere was this past Wednesday and it was two hours long. Um, we don't have cable TV. We got rid of that a long time ago. You guys probably know about that because we just didn't want to pay for it and there's nothing on TV, okay? Well, so you can get it um, on the Paramount Network if you have cable. I don't know what the number is because I, I don't, so I don't know. But you can also get it now on the Amazon um, app so you can download it. So if you have a smart TV or if you have, um, you know, the app on your computer uh, or you have the, of course, if you have the Fire Stick from Amazon, you can download it the following day. They will have the episode fully uploaded, commercial free. Um, it's $2.99 per episode, three bucks, or it's $25 for the entire series. And I don't remember how many episodes there are. So there's only one episode that came out. It was the premiere. So we finally got to see that yesterday at my um, best friend's house for movie night. And I gotta tell you, it was very good. It was very, and I'm not just saying that because it's Kevin Costner and I'm not biased like that, but I'm just gonna say that it was really good. Now, it's rated M for mature. So there's some uh, sex in it that was not necessary to the story, but it helped establishing a particular character as the kind of person she is. Um, if you watch it, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to give spoilers, all right? And um, there was, it's harsh language, but I think that everybody's kind of immune to harsh language at this point, you know? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of F-bombs um, and other C words. So if you're sensitive to that, okay, you may have to um, skip. But however, it was very well shot. I mean, beautiful. Montana is beautiful you guys what am i doing in jersey <laughs> so it, it was beautifully done really well written um the characters are very interesting um you know i mean really profound characters like the kevin costner character you end up you're not sure if you like him or you don't because he presents himself like you want to root for him you know but he makes a pretty bad decision that ends up costing him a lot. And, and it's, it was a pretty bad decision that he made. And you can, how do you support that, you know? Um, but that being said, I thought it was very well done. The characters were very interesting. They tried to establish them all at the beginning. Um, so if you like Western type, modern Westerns, if you like nature, if you like to see horses, and uh, it's all about a family, a family dynasty that's basically going to go against a bunch of other dynasties. So it's kind of, uh, it's kind of like Dallas, but, but with horses. <laughs> it's, it was really, really good. Um, I can't wait to watch the second episode and see what happens to it. Um, and we were all really, really watching it like intensely that if you could hear a pin drop so it captivated us it was well done it was very well paced um the characters were interesting it's it was very good so i recommend if you can get it on amazon watch it i'm just giving you a fair warning there's um a brutal sex scene at some point uh, towards the mid part of the premiere and then there's a lot of cursing in it but if you can get past that wow it was really good so I sound like I'm uh, uh, very naive but you know what I haven't watched TV in so long <laughs> it was kind of refreshing to finally see something on TV that's worth watching okay so that was that Yellowstone yes I say yes to Kevin Costner any time of the day all day long. No problem. Love Kevin Costner. And I'm sure you do too, so. Um, anyway, I'll talk to you later, you guys. That was my swatches and stuff. I don't know when I'm gonna do another one. It's probably gonna be a while. Because you can see I packed a lot of stuff, but I really don't buy as much as I used to. I'm still using my old stuff. Like, there's really nothing new. I'm looking now. There's nothing new except for this palette that's about it um so anyway i'll talk to you later thanks for watching you guys don't forget the links are down below and i'm going to go and do 
my $5 Goodwill challenge. So I don't know which one you're gonna see first. It's probably gonna be either this one or the Goodwill challenge. Either way, I'll talk to you later and thank you for watching. Bye.